down. Let's get down our next contest. It's a, another hard hitting one, that's for sure. It's Julie Pocker versus Daniela Hemsley. These two uh, met just a week or so ago in Brazil. Now it's on, well, Daniela's home turf. We're going to bring in a translator to, to help with this one. Thank you very much. Um, Daniela, let me start with you. You went to Brazil uh, to, to go to Julie's home territory. How do you feel coming off the back of that? Did that increase your confidence or put some nerves in the belly? Going to Brazil was honestly like one of the best two days. Um, it was crazy, you know. Can't say the Brazilian fans are very nice to me. There was a lot of booing. Um, there was very few people that were really nice to me. But, you know, coming home, going straight back into training, and I'm ready to go. Yeah. And Julie, you're now coming on to Daniela's home turf. What does it mean? There's already a reaction here in the crowd to her. Saturday night, if there's booze, how will you react? Ah, acho que se me vaiarem, vai pôr no gato, tô nem aí. Só bora. She's very confident, she don't get about anyone on the public, public. she do the work and she's here for the show. She seemed a lot more confident in Brazil than she does now that I'm the No, in qualquer lugar. No, she's confident anywhere, she just don't need to show you. Julie, what do you think is going to be your your biggest key to victory? You can use your want to hear me. Olha, eu já treino artes marciais há, há um tempo, né? O boxe tradicional é uma coisa que é nova para mim, mas eu já estive dentro de um ringue e nunca tive uma derrota. Então acho que dessa vez não vai ser diferente. Ah, she said she has been training for for I don't know 10 years and it's not like the same was different from the box, but she has been in a round and she always wins, so it's not different this time. Daniela, you know your partner, Akon, has been training you. you. You've been around fight sports quite a lot as of late, but, but I mean, yeah, let's just talk about, let's talk about your partners for a minute, sorry. Like, so, so there's a lot of talk about your partners, Akon and Julie's uh, guys having a fight as well. Is that added to that's the tension of you guys? Right. That's a banger. It's made it so much more fun, but the fact that uh, Julie's coach is not having any of it, he, he seems very scared towards Akon, which, uh, you know, if, if, if her coach is shit and her coach is pussying out, you know, that's not a lot of confidence onto Julie, is it? Olha, eu não tenho culpa se seu namorado tá mais preocupado em se promover do que promover a própria namorada, que ele deveria estar treinando de vez fazendo futriquinha na internet. I feel like there was something quite good. Okay, okay, she said that, uh, she's sorry that your boyfriend steal your show because she's, he's like desperate for make a show, but this is it. He's supposed to be training you and not make a show. E eu acho que de verdade você deveria chifrar muito ele, porque... And she said that you're supposed to hang out with another guy because this one. I got three coaches. I got three coaches. They're the best in the world. So. Can we get relationship advice here? Wow. Also, as well, what's, what's my what's my boyfriend got to do with boxing? With my boxing? Is there nothing? They, I don't need relationship advice. <laughs> <laughs> she said that the relationship in the boxing, it's obvious that, that he can teach you. I have three coaches and they're the best in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that they are the best in the world? Yeah, I've got Leon Edwards, UFC world champion in my gym, you know, his, his boxing coach is going to be ringside fight night. <laughs> That's a big name. That's a big name to have in your corner. That's a world champ. 
vai ser legal ganhar de você então. The best to know, then you know my picture is gonna be best knowing this. Tornou mais interessante. Daniela, let's, let's be honest. A lot of people have put Julie at the top of their rank or close to that. I mean, she's a very powerful athlete. She has got some combat sport experience. Uh, are there any nerves going into this one? Are you are you intimidated at all by her? No, I mean, she definitely looks big and scary to a lot of people, but like I said before, I've been surrounded by bodybuilders my whole life, and they don't intimidate me, you know? I've, I've been dancing for 10 years, and I'm still shit, so, you know, no matter how much boxing experience she's got, doesn't mean she's any good. How do you beat Julie on Saturday night? I mean, she's as flat as an ironing board for a start, so, you know, I've, I'm definitely good on my feet, and, you know, I'm not going to give too much away. Oh. Oh, how are quads going to win a boxing fight? And if they are significant quads, they can gas you out. Como? <laughs> also, Julia, are you going to make weight? She already made weight. Mm. Yeah. It's wrong With weight. a lot of sweating. No. Por eso? She asking if she looks like because she doesn't. Julia, Julia, how, how do you how do you see this fight finishing? Com ela no chão chorando, pedindo a mãe, se tiver. Probably with you asking how she saw the, the fight, right? She said that she, probably she saw Daniela at the ground. Her boyfriend, crying. né? Her boyfriend também, né? Her and her boyfriend crying on the ground. I am complete. <laughs> well, look, this, I mean, this is another fight. I just cannot wait to see. Um, ladies, let's get you to face off. Oh, yeah. Wait, you might have to put your arms in. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Hey, Leon Edmonds, that's the name. That's the name. 